I'm really excited to, uh, to, to share the, the Vox Royalty opportunity with investors today. Um, we, we really are at an inflection point and 2021 pre presents a really transformational uh, year in our company's seven year history. We've been around as a company for seven years, but we've only been listed for seven months. So this really is a sort of ground floor opportunity. Um, you know, the royalty industry as a whole has grown to a $60 billion combined market capitalization um, across 25 different listed companies. But as we stand today, over the last two years, Vox has been the fastest growing royalty company out of all of those, out of the entire industry. And that growth is really just the tip of the iceberg. I will be making forward looking statements. We've got a lot of really exciting catalysts in 2021. So I would refer to people to the, the disclaimer in our presentation on our website. Vox Royalty, as I mentioned before, has a, a proven track record of, of seven years since being established in 2014. We went public on the TSX Venture Exchange back in May of last year. So very much early days still in our capital markets program. We have uh, led the industry in, in terms of acquisition growth. We've done 18 separate royalty deals since the start of 2019. And importantly for investors, we offer a critical mass of 46 individual royalties, uh, which offers both low portfolio risk, um, but also a huge amount of organic catalysts. Last year alone, we had over 120,000 metres of partner funded drilling on our royalty properties. The, uh, the portfolio, our royalty portfolio has been specifically constructed with low geopolitical risk in mind. So over 80% of our royalties are in Australia, um, Canada and the United States. And importantly, we are precious metal focused. A little bit about our capital structure, very tight capital structure, only 32 million shares out, our market cap's about $100 million, um, net cash on the balance sheet. Um, importantly, management holds about 15% of the company. So everything we do is through the, through the eyes of shareholders. I've got four of my brothers and sisters as loyal shareholders, and I can assure you that they, uh, they are very focused shareholders uh, each week. Um, we've deployed about $25 million of capital to create this $100 million portfolio. Um, the portfolio is precious metals weighted, as I mentioned before, offers very low geopolitical risk weighted towards Australia, Canada and the United States. And we've got a huge amount of, of organic embedded growth in our portfolio with, with uh, uh, forecasts to go from four producing royalties to nine producing royalties in the near term. A little bit about our team. So we've got a team of six. It's a, it's a highly technically focused team. We've got two mining engineers and two geologists uh, to ensure that we don't fall in love with the wrong mining assets. Um, the team itself uh, has, has over 30 years of royalty specific uh, transactional experience um, and has been involved in over $1.5 billion of royalty deals. Kyle, our CEO is based out of Denver, um, a very seasoned mining investment banker, um, led the, led the uh, Roth Capital Mining um, team for a number of years over a billion dollars of, of deal flow, royalty and streaming specific under his belt. Um, Simon is a, both a mining engineer and a geologist. Uh, he's worked across some of the who's who of interesting mining operations around the world from Glencore's, um, uh, Glencore's operations in the Congo to Kyrgyzstan and to Australia. Myself, I'm a mining engineer and former reformed perhaps investment banker. Um, I, I've worked with the likes of BHP and South32 uh, and, and back in 2015, uh, I co-founded a business with our fourth partner, Rian, called Mineral Royalties Online. And the, 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 key, the cornerstone of that business was we developed what we believe is the world's largest database of royalties, over 7,000 proprietary royalties. And that, 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 that intellectual property was then um, merged into, into Vox Royalty about two years ago. Rian uh, is based in Western Australia for us. Um, he's a renowned exploration geologist with over 20 years of Greenfields exploration experience working for a who's who of the majors from Rio Tinto to Rand Gold to BHP and, and, and numerous others. Importantly, our team has been strategically located around the globe to be in front of the maximum amount of deal flow. Uh, we've got representatives in Toronto, Denver, Perth uh, and where our corporate head office is uh, in Grand Cayman. 
Um, in addition to this core team of four business development professionals, we've also got a dedicated CFO and general counsel. A little bit about our, uh, our royalty portfolio of 46 royalties. As I mentioned before, the portfolio offers very low country risk. So 80, over 80% 80 of the royalties are in Australia, Canada, and the United States. Um, and that's, that's for a few reasons. Particularly if we focus in on Australia, we've got a first mover advantage in that market. Um, in our royalty database of over 7,000 royalties alone, we've got over 1,500 royalties um, over Australian mining properties. Plus also having a dedicated team member in Western Australia uh, helps to no end. And I suppose if we reflect on, on the COVID pandemic, Western Australia as it stands today has less than 30 active cases of COVID. So when you think about a gold mining jurisdiction such as Western Australia, you know, we see it as one of the best and safest places to operate a gold mine um, today. A little bit about the organic embedded growth within our royalty portfolio. So as we stand today, there's huge optionality in our portfolio of 46 royalties and streams. So we have four production stage assets uh, as of today. Um, but then as we look ahead in the near term, there's a clear path to, to go from four to nine and over nine um, production stage royalties. You know, through the royalties that we've got that are feasibility stage. So for example, the Bulong royalty is expected uh, to commence mining uh, by the end of this year. Um, Lynn Lake, Alamos Gold is guiding towards a construction decision next year. Uh, and we also have a number of royalties that are materially de-risked their toll treatment operations or operational restarts where the capex is, is, is substantially been sunk already. And then in addition to these advanced stage royalties across our 30 exploration stage royalties, last year alone, we had over 120,000 meters of drilling funded by our, our um, operating partners over those exploration stage royalties. Slide eight, this is just a chart articulation of, of, I guess, our exponential acquisition growth over the past two years. So as I mentioned, um, you know, since January 2019, we've announced 18 separate royalty transactions, which really is, is leading the industry from the multi-billion dollar large cap uh, peers all the way down to the newer entrants. But it's not just that we're doing more deals than our competitors. We're also paying much more disciplined prices. And this is, this is largely because 90% of our deal flow is and our transactions are done on what we call a bilateral basis. So no brokers, no investment bankers, and none of our, our competitors at the table, just us and the royalty seller negotiating in good faith together. And that's largely uh, delivered and unlocked by our proprietary royalty database that I'll talk about right now. So what is the secret source, so to speak, behind Vox? What, what makes us different in, in the field of 25 separate royalty companies? Our proprietary royalty database of over 7,000 unique mining royalties is a key part of our secret source. So this database has been built from first principles uh, over the last 10 years. We've reviewed tens of thousands of public filings, terabytes worth of private exploration data. In some cases, even went through physical storerooms, dusty files, looking for, for individual traces of royalties. This database gives us two key sourcing edges over our competitors. The first one is a first mover access to deals. As I mentioned before, um, out of the last 18 deals we've done over the past two years, 90% of those deals, so 16 of those deals basically um, have been on a bilateral one-on-one -on -one negotiation basis, which just means obviously that you know, the pricing and the negotiation terms are you know, advantageous. Not only have we been doing uh, more bilateral deals, but we've been constantly finding royalties that are completely forgotten by our competitors. So we bought an iron ore royalty from a telecommunications company. We bought a gold royalty from a hearing aid company. Um, we bought another gold royalty last year from an automotive company. These are historical mining shells that still held really attractive royalties that we were able to unearth. The second key advantage the database gives us is incredible due diligence speed. We can view opportunities spatially when our where our competitors are viewing them in dusty CDAR filings. Slide 10, this is just a brief snapshot of some of our 40 operating partners. And really for a company of our size, a $100 million company, to have this many well-credentialed and well-financed tier one operating partners actively progressing our royalty properties is an anomaly. 
Um, we're very grateful to all the work these operating partners do. And I guess this is part of the embedded optionality and the embedded organic growth that investors get from acquiring a portfolio such as ours that has a critical mass of this many um, operating partners. Uh, slide 11, just a brief valuation snapshot. Um, based, we're very fortunate to have some fantastic uh, uh, research analysts covering our stock. Um, we, as we stand today, uh, the brokers have got a consensus buy recommendation on us. Um, and likewise, I guess, when we look at our, um, how we're trading relative to our peers, particularly from a price to, to net asset value perspective, you know, we, we still see a lot of room to run uh, based on where we're, where we're trading today. Slide 12, this is a bit of a, a management scorecard, I guess you could say. Um, you know, as a management team, we pride ourselves on doing what we say we're going to do. So last year, we said we would successfully take the company public after uh, six years of, of, of being private, and we delivered on that promise. Likewise, we said to our investors, you know, that we would, we would work with the sell side um, analysts to get research coverage out, and we've delivered on that. And as we look ahead, you know, we have a huge number of organic uh, uh, catalysts coming up over the course of this year. Exponential cash, cash flow growth, over 30,000 meters of drilling, partner funded drilling each quarter, and we're averaging about one new royalty deal per month. So lastly, why Vox and why now? Why Vox? I hope that I've sh shared with you today that what makes us truly differentiated, a, a technical team, um, a, a management team that are meaningful shareholders of the company, uh, what we believe is the world's largest proprietary royalty database to, to direct our mergers and acquisitions, and just a critical mass of 46 royalties that offer low risk and a huge number of, of um, catalysts from our operating partners in 2021. And why invest now? As I mentioned, um, even just today, Paradigm, uh, the research analyst at Paradigm upgraded their price target, um, which is fantastic news. Um, this quarter alone, we're expecting two resource upgrades and a new PEA on one of our royalties. And then later this year, we're expecting a number of our royalties um, to come online with First Gold Pour at two different operations. Mm -hmm.